Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Ice9, we're doing another Madden Mobile video, and we're going to go through the Trophy Monster 3, and uh, also just something real quick to show in my league drives today, and let's play Easy e here with his 103 defense. Uh, I've beaten him once, and I've lost probably twice or three times, pretty good, and we can see here, so a lot of what I like to do is uncountered. I just can't get anything done against this defense. Caught a few unfortunate soft counters. And then I get picked by Kukli. And he gets picked by Chancellor. So six drive, win or go home. If I uh, get a touchdown, I'm going for two. As foolish as that may be. But first we got to try to get six. And today I've had a hard time. So. Let's see how I do here. And through that a little bit late. There you go with the flipped spread FL drag. And as teams get better and better, ouch. As teams get better and better, defenses get better than offenses and require more skill to play. It is tough. Fourth down. Just didn't get quite enough time to get the look that I wanted there. Gronk is open. Don't drop it. And... Let's see here. What can I do? Trips tight end stick. Kind of stay right in the pocket there. Don't roll on that play. And let's see here what else I can do. We're going to go cross in. And we're going to try to go for it a little bit here and get a chunk. And see how that works out. That looks like a counter. And it was. And weak eye dig. Now we've dug ourselves a hole by going for these long pass plays. And just not a lot of time to throw against this guy at all. Not much time. We're going to try trips double post, and I am going to look for that slot. I'm going to look for Rice on this one. Fourth down. Okay, and the best play to run. Slants. And he clutches it even with the counter. Tough, tough, tough. In 20%, I assume a lot of long passes are going to be countered. But I'm going to try spread slot flags on him and see how I do. And that one was countered. Just catching counters all over the place. Slants middle. And we're going to go with deep curls. And fronted that linebacker. Got to deliver it very quickly. And do a strong IFB middle again. Improving the throwing lane. And then flipped. That is countered. That is a critical. Again, 20%. Unlucky. We're going to do curls flats. Gronk is open. That is a touchdown. And here we go. So, win or lose on the toss. It's not countered. Let's see how this expensive running back can do. Failed truck 
and I lose. <laughs> so there you go. Alrighty, so I lose, but at least I score on the drive. Feel a little bit better about myself. And then I got another guy who put up eight on me. I guess I could play drives against him too. Defenses, as you can see, guys, they're very, very tough. And those soft counters, those 20 percenters, were firing like crazy against me. So FP Flair is hard countered with this guy. And he just didn't get lucky with the plays he was running. Based on what he was running, he knows he's going against soft counters. Yeah, he definitely knows. Okay, so... See what other plays I could run. So no FB flare. And I'm down a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Got to get it done here. Take that touchback. We're going to go to cross in. Counter. 21%. Like I said, boy, they're firing. We're going to try dig. That's also a counter. 21% again. We're going to flip, cross up. Counter again. 17%. Unreal. Just unreal. Fourth and 28. Deep attack. Not getting a good look. Double coverage. On both of my uh, wide receiver one and two. Maybe look for the slot. Hopefully this guy comes up and blitzes Kukli. He playing in coverage. I'm not going to get a completion there. And turnover on downs. And, you know, I didn't play great. I didn't, you know, convert on that last play. But there's not much you can do when you catch counters like that with two criticals. Just not a lot you can do. Just unlucky. All right, so that's that, guys. Um, let's go into the sets and let's check out this new Trophy Monster 3. And a much-needed player for a lot of people. 98 overall running backs are tough to come by. And having one with a boost is even better. And uh, the price of 100 Elite Trophies... You know, if you've got the Elite Trophies for it, if it's not breaking the bank, I do think that this is a good pickup for a lot of people getting this player. You know, you got to think, you know, Elite Trophies, if they're uh, 20,000 coins apiece, that means it's a 2 million coin player. And not long ago, people were paying more than that for Pro Bowl Ezekiel Elliott. And this... It's arguable. Some people, I think, are going to like Elliott better, even though he doesn't have a boost in these 96 overall. This guy's slower and doesn't catch as well as Elliott. Um, so, in, in, in some ways, actually, I like Elliott better than I like uh, Combine CJ2K. I really do. He catches it better. And being a bigger back, in some ways, um, is an advantage. It's anytime you switch running backs, though, you got to get used to uh, playing into that back strengths. With this one, he's pretty fast, 95 speed. It would have been better if it was like 96, 97, 98, but 95 is not terrible. Uh, the acceleration's easily boostable. The catch will boost up to 90 if you got a couple of catch boosters. And carries decent, he's very elusive. And boosting agility. Agility is, uh, it, it affects offense and defense, which is a good thing. But it's kind of a subtle boost. It'll matter. Uh, defenders will make more plays if they're agile. Blockers will block a little bit better because they're more agile. So it does. It is one of those things that does help the entire team. But it doesn't. It's not as obvious 
to see as, say, a speed booster or an acceleration booster or an awareness booster. So it's kind of a, it's a good boost, not a great boost. It'll definitely help your overall, though, and the player, will, I think, will play pretty well. So if you have the 100 elite trophies pretty easily, I would recommend doing them if you don't have a better running back. Uh, But keep in mind, we got Gauntlet around the corner, and there are going to be other better running backs that are coming out. I don't think even CJ2K, he's not an endgame legacy running back. Of course, he's got a great boost, and the best boost in the game, really, with plus two speed. But I could see better running backs coming out very, very quickly in these games. I mean, remembering the the boss and the GT players last year. uh, So that is definitely um, something to look forward to, really. Uh, The player's been pretty good for me, though. CJ2K's been pretty good. So uh, no complaints about him. I am thinking about selling him, though. We'll, We'll definitely have to see how that goes. And I better sell him before somebody... Better comes out, but we'll we'll see how that goes. All right, so my league drives today, like I was saying, they were interesting, and we're all tied up now, taking less drives, but all tied up now with number seventy eight juggernaut, and they've got some really good teams. And uh, you know when I when I got on my league drives today, uh, I did it work, so I couldn't record a video. Uh, I've said I don't just want to record videos in league drives where we're playing like number 7,000 or something. I want to do it when we're playing somebody good. But today I was at work, so I, w- I couldn't record the video. But the drives are interesting to see. First of all, we got to see this 105 defense I played today. And you can see on his offense, everybody boosts the the defense. Every single position is a booster. Favre and Williams alone are plus four awareness and plus four strength. You got Rice boosting awareness and catch. You got Sanders boosting acceleration and agility. You got Gronk boosting catch and strength. Another awareness booster with effort. Gurley boosting speed. Strength booster. Agility booster. Strength booster. Strength booster and strength booster. All the strength boosts in the world. A ton of awareness boosts. A speed boost still in with all that. Acceleration boosters in there too. And then Gronk, of course, with the catch boost. And then the defensive end, he's got every boss under the sun. From Dawkins to Krause to Willie Brown, who's up to 99 man coverage on this team. 99 strength. Look at all the green over Blount. <laughs> you know, this is just a sick defense. So when I played him today, and you could already see that I put up 22, but just it's one of those things, and I'm not trying to brag about it really, be, but really what I'm trying to do is, is be helpful. And so playing this guy today, so take the kickoff. I ran a run play, bunch HB dive, which isn't that frequently countered. I just want to see if I catch a soft counter, um, you know, what the percentages are, because that gives me a real good idea of what the rest of his defensive uh, game plan could look like. So the first one, I didn't catch a counter, but The next play I did, I caught a 56% soft counter on a short passing play to my flipped spread FL drag. And 56%, the only way you could get there is by having all ultimate freeze, short pass, and running collectibles in the game plan. All of these have to be this type in there everything and then the pack unit and then you get I, I believe it's a six per a six percent uh bonus for having a 95 overall or 95 uh awareness defense or over you get an extra six percent per play for that that's the only way you could get there these collectibles are 10 percent against the run eight percent against the short pass so eight times five is 40 
and then you have uh, the pack unit in there, which is another 8% against uh, short passing, against all plays, basically. And then the uh, 6, although that math doesn't even work out. Maybe it's more if you're over a 95 um, defensive awareness or something like that. But at any rate, once I saw that, though, and this is one of the things, and this is where I'm trying to be helpful about this. I've never seen a game plan like this. I've played plenty of uh, soft counter units, ultimate free soft counter units, but it's always been a mix of run and short pass and long and play action. Usually it's three of one and two of the other collectible. This guy had all five collectibles, and you could tell by that percentage because of that I knew that he had essentially no extra long pass or play action collectibles in there it was strictly against the run in the short pass so from there I started running plays that I normally wouldn't run but I knew they weren't going to be hard countered plays like strong IPA tight end corner tight end cross tight end corner, you know, I just don't run that play much anymore because, you know, I assume it's going to be countered. Cross, tight end corner, tight end corner, cross up, angle. I had to convert a fourth down and do it on an outlet play, which you don't want to do with play action. So I had to pick trips corner strike and go to the slot, the outlet man. And uh, then from there, you know, I scored the touchdown and finally got countered on a two-point conversion and got stopped. But it was good from, well, it shows you a couple things. First of all, you can't can score on a 105 defense. And if you're running a defensive unit and, you know, the thing is keeping people off balance, you know. So people who really like to run it, in a lot of league to leagues, people like to run it. So if people are stubborn and won't look at the percentages, that that defensive unit will eat them up. It'll get them backed up and get them into a bad situation and drop and drives if they don't adjust. If But if you learn to know the percentages of what you're facing and then the probabilities of what might work or what doesn't. For example, if you're facing 40 plus percent soft counter against say long pass plays in play action that means short short yardage passing short passing and running is not going to be as frequently countered and because it is soft countered you could get some things done especially with short passing so that's the one thing about it just by knowing the percentages and that is one of the things that's different about the game They've only had, they had the counter bar earlier in the year. Now you've got a percentage. So if you get countered, look at the number and see what it is. Were you hard counter? Then you know on the next drive. No matter if you were successful or not, say if it was a low severity counter and you got the completion anyways. But that means it's 100% countered. You are taking your chances by running that play again in another drive. You should not run that same play again on another drive. You got to pick something else. You got to pick something else to do. But if they're countering something so hard, if it, they're countering short passing 56%, that literally told me what defensive game plan that this guy had. The percentage was so high, he had all run, short passing, and a pack unit in there. That means you could throw long passes and play action almost with impunity. You're probably countered about 14 to 16% against them. And, and as you can see, you know, after seeing that first counter, I didn't catch a lot of counters after that. And I was able to score all three drives. So... Just something that's kind of interesting. Uh, we should be seeing Ultimate Legends, obviously, tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'm going to cover them. We will see. I'll definitely, at the very least, cover those and Positional Heroes when they come out. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of gameplay videos, so I might do something 
for tomorrow night, though, where I record a video. I think I'm going to play a season game and flip every single play that I run on offense and just kind of fumble through that. It's probably going to be funny uh, because I'm sure I'm going to suck doing it. There are some plays that I, I do flip. But the reason I think that I'm going to do that and why I've been thinking about doing that is by flipping every play, we, we tend to get, and I know I tend to get, target fixation where on a given play you like to throw to a certain guy whether that's the right read or not I think by flipping plays it's going to force me to think outside the box a little bit and kind of open up my horizons a little bit so it's all about trying to get better at this game you could have the best team on the planet but if you don't execute you know, it's not going to matter. If you can't play, you can't play. You might have a great team, but you can't play. So I'm definitely trying to get better about at this game for sure. So that's it, guys. That is my video for tonight, and thanks for watching.